welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tadra Cheryl. I thank you so much for the feedback and the support from the last video, which was the first video on this channel. I'm also grateful to God for what he's going to be doing with us through this journey and what he has already started doing with us in this journey of living a surrendered life in him as our heavenly father, whilst we experience the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ and walk in testimony in every area of life. Thank you for those who have subscribed, who liked, commented and shared this channel. I really, really appreciate you. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed, join in, you know, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and let's grow together. What if someone woke you up right now and you found yourself sleeping in your grade one class? <laughs> Crazy, right? I've been thinking about that, and I know I would make di decisions differently. I'll be more aware of, of certain things. I know one thing that I'll do as I woke up would be to build a strong and ongoing relationship with God, which is what I spoke about in the last video. And if you haven't seen that video, I've left the link in the description below, or you can click here to check that video out. Well, waking up in grade one is obviously not going to happen. So what to do? Let's start this again. Okay, let's do it differently with intention and purpose, and let's do it in God. Or Press the reset button. And this is what I'm going to be talking about today in this video. So my reset is not just going to be a survival mode type of reset, but it's going to be inspired and led by God. We're in the second quarter of the year 2021, and we probably had New Year's resolutions that we set for ourselves or goals we set for ourselves, or we had prophecies that were spoken into our lives, but maybe they haven't happened. And probably because God wasn't really involved. But does that mean we give up? No, of course not. We're saying we're starting again, and we're starting again in God this time. In the last video, I broke down life into 12 life areas. And I'd like to encourage you to choose at least one that you're saying, Lord, I want to reset it in you. I want to do things differently in you. And I'd like you to take the next 7 to 21 days to start the reset process and start with intention, with purpose, as we move forward um, in this journey. I have personally chosen my health. I want my health to get back in alignment with God's will for my life. And as we're doing this research journey, what we're going to be doing is refocus, reawaken, reorganize, reset this whatever area that you have chosen. And we're going to be doing it in three ways. Number one is pray. Before we do anything, we ought to pray. We have to talk to our Father, our God, because it's the one who will ensure that this reset is a success. So what I've done is I've done a mashup of Bible versions that I like to read into one verse. And so the Bible versions are the New King James Version, English Standard Version, King James Version, Amplified Version, the Passion Translation, the Easy to Read Version, the Message, and the New Living Translation. And the first verse that I'm reading in as we are talking about point number one, which is pray, is Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. And the mashup goes like this. Be anxious and careful for nothing. Do not worry or be worried. Anxious, hold in different directions or fret about anything or a thing. But in everything, pray. Every circumstance and situation, in everything you need, instead of worrying, pray. Ask God for everything you need being saturated in prayer throughout the day by supplication or petition and offering your faith-filled requests ask god for anything and everything you need while in thanksgiving with overflowing gratitude and always giving thanks for what you have let prayers shape your worries into prayers continue and let your specific requests be made known unto god Tell him every detail of your life and continue letting him know your concerns. Okay, so we're going to be praying because we have faith that God loves us and cares for us. Okay, because we recognize our weakness and our great need for God in this area that we're resetting. And we're doing this in order to grow closer to God because we're constantly building a relationship with Him. And we'll ask for forgiveness and be brought to repentance because we've done things our own way in the past. And 
because we're here we can see that it hasn't worked out so the question that you would ask yourself in this in this section as you're praying is what issues am i facing in this area the verse that we just read says do not be anxious do not worry do not fret do not be pulled in different directions so you ask my, you ask yourself what issues am i facing in this area what is pulling me in different directions what is making me worry and that is your first point of call that's where you start from and you start praying number two is plan okay we're going to plan how we're going to do this reset now, while we are to put our hope in God, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be planning ahead for the future. We don't want to get caught up and away because we failed to plan. All right, because the Bible says in Luke 14, verse 28 to 29, in the NLT version, but don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of money. And then everyone would laugh at you. <laughs> okay. And Habakkuk or Habakkuk or Habakkuk 2 verse 2 in the NKJ, NKJV version says, Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. So it's very important to plan as we're doing this reset we need to plan and we're planning with god so planning includes research okay as we're planning you also have to do research and there's some research questions that we have to ask ourselves okay so number one is what does the bible say about the area that i'm resetting in god so you're inquiring of the lord through his word about the area that you want to reset not looking to other sources because other sources will pull you in different directions. But you're looking at the source of that life area. Who is God? What is he saying through his word about this area that I'm resetting? The second uh, question is, now that I know what the Bible says about this area that I'm resetting in him, what are my goals and what can be done or what steps can be taken to reset? So we're looking at the goals and the methods. What can be done and how are we going to do it? And then, what is my minimum timeline or due date? So we put a start and an end to this reset. If it's a lifetime thing, for example, my health, so I always have to constantly be checking up on it. But if it's a short-term goal, it means that you're putting a start. I'm starting this reset on this day and looking at the results at the end of this day so that you can track what you're doing. All right, so number two was plan, but there is a 2A, and the 2A is pray. We pray again, okay? So we're praying because the Bible says in Proverbs 16, verse 3, which is another mashup again, before you do anything, commit your work and works to the Lord. Submit and trust them to him. Put God in charge of your work and turn to the Lord in everything you do. Put your trust totally in God and not in yourself. Then you will be successful. What you've planned will take place and every plan you make will succeed and your thoughts and your plans will be established if you respond to his will and his guidance. So as we're writing things down, as we're putting pen to paper, what we're saying is we're committing our works to the Lord and that's how we pray. You know, you take that vision, you take that plan that you've written and you present it to God and you say, God, your word says, and you present it to him and you're able to present it to him because you've put it down on paper and you've planned. Okay. Okay. So number three is move. Or in other words, we take action and we're taking action because it's a necessary part of building our relationship with God. This is where we exercise our faith, you know, and We've got an enemy who is the devil, who is Satan, who takes advantage of people who do not take action. Or rather, who take action but do not take it in God. And if we choose passivity and we don't take our action, which requires our faith, we're not going anywhere. We won't be able to achieve the things that we want to achieve in this reset. Okay, so we don't want, because we're exercising our faith, we don't want to be faint-hearted, to be doubters, and to always struggle 
with taking action there is hope for us there is hope for us because we're choosing to move and be courageous as we take action so i'm reminded of the parable of the ta- uh, of the talent which is matthew 26 verse 14 to 30 i'm not going to read it now but i'd like to encourage you to read it understand it and you can see the consequences of not taking actions and the results and benefits of taking action so again matthew 26 verse 14 to 30 and then after we take action we do 3a again and pray we're praying again as we're taking action we're praying so we read the verse from philippians 4 verse 6 which talked about being saturated in prayer every single day so even as we're planning as we're moving and as we're praying we're praying continuously we continuously pray because that way we know that god will order our steps and we're reassured that he is ordering his steps and and psalm 119 verse 133 again another mashup says guide direct keep steady order establish me and my steps as you promised in the way of your word or by your word of promise prepare before me a path filled with your promises according to your promises of the word and let no iniquity get dominion over me so i will not be overcome by evil don't let any human weakness have power over me causing me to be separated from you don't allow even one sin to have dominion over me or evil rule over me or anything evil in nature or effect gets the better of me because god is establishing our steps we know that even if we try and sway in another direction his presence will pull us back to him because we're constantly praying and we're constantly in him i encourage you to fully put your trust in god and acknowledge him in this reset in whichever area that you've chosen pour out your heart to him and watch as this area that you've decided to reset in god get lit he will light up your path he will move you in the direction that is aligned with his will for your life okay i have put a prayer at the end of this video take it as a guide to jumpstart your reset process in god and watch as the holy spirit begin to minister to you all right this is the end of the video uh, thank you very much for watching share the video get someone else influence someone else and let's come together as we begin to reset different parts of our lives and see testimonies come to fruition all right. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. I'm praying for you. God bless you and shalom. Bye.